it's weekly reset day. Let's get our life together and prepare for the new week by going grocery shopping and planning my week so we can start off fresh. You guys know I'm all about cleaning and getting my life together, building habits, doing things that make my life a little bit easier. So this video is to motivate you guys as well to do the same thing. So let's clean together, let's get our life together for the new week and start this weekly reset. I have a to-do list on my phone that we need to finish today for the weekly reset. I tried to include things on here that I normally don't do on a day-to-day -day basis. It's gonna be our weekly things to do. To make us be that girl that more productive we need to plan our next week on the planner so we're more productive next week know exactly what I need to film each day what I need to edit each day things that I need to get done in general meetings lists video ideas this week I wanted to focus on deep cleaning my nightstand because it's kind of been in shambles for some time now I'm not using some useful space that I could be using right now cleaning the rug because even though I just did it it's getting crusty it just gets crusty so fast which also reminds me I need to put it into my like month monthly to-do list to find a rug that's still cute but it's not such high maintenance because this one's so much high maintenance next I need to deep dust everything I don't do dusting every day which we're tackling today that includes baseboards my fans all of my lights and behind the TV we're washing my sheets and my comforter as well as I think I have like one or two loads of clothes we do those like every other day so it doesn't pile up that much we need to wipe down every single mirror in this home we live in a studio apartment it's super small it's literally like 300 square feet we have so many mirrors in here which I love I like to open up the space a little bit but they're a little bit crusty right now so we need to wipe everything down then we need to go grocery shopping for all of the essentials we're gonna need for the week and last but not least we need to water my plants if you guys watch my video I planted a whole bunch of things and I've been keeping up with my garden I planted tomatoes and those are so big I'll give you guys a full update on my garden later but pretty much I've already completely harvested all of my cilantro right now I have my pumpkins and my tomato plants that I need to water so we need to take care of that let's get into today's week reset like I said use this as your motivation or your cleaning inspo because we all need a bestie we all try to become the best version of ourselves especially during the summer time don't forget to also drink your water I always have this 64 ounce cup it reminds me to drink water during the summertime put ice in here it stays cold all day so I just want to drink water all the time that did just remind me though I don't wash this thing as often as I should so we're gonna wash it right now thankfully the kitchen is pretty clean because it is a, such a small kitchen it just adds up really fast and there's like nowhere to even place anything on here so we need to be proactive about that so right now it's pretty clean so it's perfect timing dump this water a sponge for my cup we don't have a dishwasher so it's one of the main things that I would die for we've never had a dishwasher in our house ever even when I used to live with my parents we never had a dishwasher there either which I didn't mind up until I discovered how useful a dishwasher is now whenever we go to any Airbnb it's like so convenient we just put everything in there and it washes itself I'm like this is magic people have been living with this their entire life so I've been wanting one ever since unfortunately we don't have one right now but I am hoping to have one soon this is the first time I'm talking about it which is making me like so happy but I have some really exciting news that I'm going to share with you guys for the first time ever I have never really talked about this on my channel it was a really big unknown for us when we would officially go house shopping as you guys know we've been living in this studio for about three years now it was such an affordable rent and we thought it was smarter to spend our money here than in a big luxurious apartment that had like multiple bedrooms and a nice view so we decided that we're gonna bring you guys along and even if nothing happens we you guys will know every step of the way and exactly the reason why we don't end up getting a house or we do end up getting a house and you guys are gonna have all the behind the scenes there is some really exciting things coming up you guys know I love like decorating a nice home cleaning a home too, getting my life together and all of that stuff that surrounds home decor so i'm so excited to bring you guys along let me know what kinds of videos you guys want to see regarding that right now we are in level one of house shopping we are open to the idea have decided on a budget that we don't want to go over and have been looking just online have our first appointment to go actually see a house next week but this is level one phase one just like that my water is fully clean out also can you guys imagine the weekly resets in a new house 
<laughs> that'd be amazing all right back to the reset we're gonna clean the carpet because it is so filthy and it also takes a long time so i'm gonna listen to a podcast while i do it you guys are listening to me while you guys do it so win-win i've actually been thinking about getting new blankets for these chairs because i feel like they're so plain i'm gonna remove them to clean the couches we're gonna wash these anyway though so we have a lot of washing to do if you guys watched my other cleaning video i accidentally discovered that this laundry stain remover helped clean the chairs they get so dirty like really dark really fast and we have a machine that suctions it out but it's not that powerful i felt like this helped it last time so we're gonna try it again and see how much it helps it this time lately one thing i've been incorporating into my life is accountability and time management with myself i've always been a really responsible person with managing my time when it comes to filling another's cup but i don't hold these same standards for myself i realize that i'm so strict with myself about time management because i'm scared of failing others but what about me why do i find it so easy to fail myself while in the moment it might feel like a simple task can wait for another day it's really really easy to develop bad habits when it comes to staying accountable with yourself so next time you think about not managing your time wisely or neglecting a task you have set to do for yourself ask yourself this question would i fail someone else i love right now and if your answer is no then ask yourself why it's okay to fail yourself so to stay accountable planning out 20 minutes a day to tidy up or one day a week to tackle major things like i did today is a great way to develop a healthy habit and start each day and week ready and motivated We have checked off all the to-do list from the bedroom. It is 5.36 and Costco closes at 6 p.m. today. So we're gonna rush over there to buy all of the groceries that we need. So let's go. <laughs> They're changed. I need a quarter for a water bottle. Okay, we got everything we needed from Costco. We had a $100 gift certificate, which made that thing so much better. Anyways, we came to Ross because I wanted to look for two new throws that I had told you guys about earlier. And also, one of our tables broke, so we need to replace it. And then, thirdly, Ricardo bought one of our spoon holder things, so we need to replace that as well. So let's go to Ross. Baby. And these are from my garden. I need these. <laughs> It'll make sure. No chip corners. Yep, everything good. All right, let's take our table. I found these really cute sheets at Ross. They have these little purple bowls. I don't have them in my bed size, but I did get some in this actual brand. The ones I currently have that have the little flowers are so cute. So look out for this brand for sure. I would buy them again to have restocks because I don't think I'm ever going to find them again. And they were only 20 bucks. And at Target and like online in general, they're normally like $40. So I found them for a steal. So look at your local Ross or Marshalls. Here are the throws you have at Ross. Well, honestly, I feel like Marshalls is the best place to find throws ross is kind of lacking this is also the selection Ooh, i love those little flowers that's so pretty we have pink throws this is the only kind of cute one i feel like in my opinion other than that this one's kind of cute too but it's black and i was looking for a summer color or this one. Ooh, this one's kind of cute i don't know if i love that color though i feel like a responsible adult today we came for what we came for and left with what yeah, we, we came for again, actually no i got gardening gloves i didn't come for gardening gloves so we just got the table we weren't able to find any of the other things so we didn't buy anything and we didn't get anything on top of that other than the gardening gloves since we finished our to-do list for everything that we needed to get done at home all i have to go do is put my sheets on the bed and organize my groceries and that'll be like the bulk of resetting for today but we are going to take the nighttime planning meals and content that i need to film for the rest of the week and we can't forget to water my plants before the day ends we're kind of actually surprising me with this little thing to water the plant i think i'm gonna take them all out and put new ones but they actually give me so many onions i cut these like three times i got so much onion and here are all of the tomato plants that i had planted from seeds like look at these big plants i have now they were seeds at some point we have this one this one and then this is my basil plant here are my pumpkin plants so this one's the one in question that's about to die or maybe it recovers i don't know we will see this is another tomato plant this planter i have a lot more tomato plants like look at these i need to give these away i need to give some to ricardo's grandma my mom time to restock my fridge here are all the groceries we got from Costco and my fridge is actually not looking too bad ever since I last organized it the system has been working 
pretty well. Let me give you guys a quick haul of everything that I bought for this week's groceries. Because it is from Costco, a lot of things are in bulk. For example, these uh, chicken wings. There's six little packets of these. Some dish soap. We're eating this sushi right now. Some bell peppers to make stuff bell peppers. Got some shrimp, some asparagus, some limes for my cucumbers. This has been my late night obsession. Cucumber, add lemon on it, and a little bit of salt. Chef's kiss. Pretty low sour cream, so we bought these. Got some pesto. So got some tuna, avocados, strawberries, avocado oil, some cheese, and some new seasonings like this garlic powder. It's crushed with pepper. We also got a big thing of chicken breast. And lastly, we got some cheese. Let's put everything away. Ricardo and I first moved in together. I made like a fridge restock video. The video got like more than a million views. It went viral for like all the wrong reasons. Right? Not all the wrong reasons, but a lot of people were commenting like, why so many eggs? And it was literally this container being filled with this amount of eggs. I didn't understand. I was like, what the heck? Like people don't buy this many eggs. Because growing up, my parents always, or my mom, she would always buy this thing of eggs. So I was like, what the heck? Even to this day, honestly, I don't understand it. Do people just not eat that many eggs? At this point, I just need some chickens in my backyard. <laughs> I already got the garden. Now I need the chickens. We have five dozens of eggs going right into the fridge. I'm gonna restock my garlic container. Let's restock this one. I'm already like thinking about the Gigi Hadid vodka pasta. Protein pasta. Ooh, so good. With those crushed peppers. And then this is the garlic. All right, we gotta restock. Here's how it looks. Honestly, it looks pretty similar. And we had a lot of things. We just restocked like here quite a bit. Strawberry spaghetti. Spaghetti. What? Spaghetti? Asparagus. Is dummy and then eggs some oranges bananas yeah that's pretty much it this is what we're gonna eat for the rest of the week i even restocked some more oranges here avocados and some onions let's tidy up right here and clean the surface so for the most part the kitchen is clean i didn't really focus all of my attention in the kitchen today it's not perfect it does need a little bit of decluttering and like deep cleaning but we're gonna leave that for next week's weekly reset i really 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 wanted to like make sure this was a priority this week hi mommy <laughs> this is the clothes we had to fold and the comforter is done the sheets are drying so let's make the bed you guys saw that i bought this sushi at costco because i was like we're gonna be hungry later and we're not gonna like have the energy and also we're not gonna want to get the kitchen dirty again so i'm gonna make this ten dollar meal into something for both ricardo and i but i need to make it look presentable so let's plate it i have these really cute strawberry plates this one and this one that i used for the nara smith video so i'm gonna plate them here And just like that, we got a more fancy dinner for two for $10. We're gonna gobble up and then we're gonna finish our weekly reset. fresh bed sheets but it's not gonna last for long because you guys see that laundry hamper back there it needs to be completely empty by the end of this there's no more procrastinating and leaving laundry in the laundry hampers because it just stays there for way too many days quite a long day but it's been so productive you guys so now all we have to do is plan out the rest of the week and luckily this doesn't happen every week because this just happened to happen happened to happen this week because july 1st is actually on monday ricardo and i pretty much planned out a sketch of our whole month already so i have a pretty good idea of what videos i want to film already and when i want to post them so i'm just going to translate that onto my planner i just think it's a lot easier to look at it here and also i do need to brainstorm exactly what uh kind of content and trips i want to plan out for the month of september and october because even though they seem like they're super far away it's so much better to plan ahead and have an idea of things you want to do and i want to plan a spooky trip this year sometime in october so i need to start thinking about that you guys should give me ideas as well if you guys have any good ideas but writing it down on here because my planner that i have up that was only one month so this one is like literally the whole year so i can put everything in here like i said it is a new month this week so we can fill out the entire month or we can fill out just this week i think i'm gonna fill out the next two weeks because i know those are like very concrete 
And one thing I really appreciate from this planner, you guys can't really see it because it's super, super bright, but it has a section for each week where you can put your to-do list, people to call, people to email, things to buy, your weekly goals, and anything else at the bottom. So if you think about it beforehand, you'll have a plan because if you fail to plan, you plan to fail. So you gotta get those brain juices moving. My week is officially planned. Thought it would be fun to share with you guys some of my to-dos and goals for the week. If you guys don't mind, also do it in the comments. Let's motivate each other to do something new this week, to follow our to-do list, to create goals. Kept it pretty simple, but I for sure need to go house shopping on Tuesday. I really want to find a workout class that I think is really fun because although I like going to the gym, I feel like it's kind of been very routine to do the same thing, just Stairmaster and a little bit of weights. So I want to find a class that I fall in love with and I can do over and over. And lastly, I want to focus on editing because sometimes I get distracted and I don't get all the work done that I should be getting done. I need to stay on top of that and also edit for TikTok because sometimes I just neglect TikTok altogether. And lastly, I need to sleep earlier and wake up earlier because that's been the death of me recently i have not been sleeping early and i've been waking up super late and that is unmotivating to me when i wake up and like half of the day is gone super unmotivating that is gonna be it for today's planning we have accomplished all of our to do's and the room is so clean i'm actually gonna go ahead and jump in the shower because there is a no better feeling than falling asleep in freshly washed sheets with also freshly washed everything shower let's jump in the shower so we can snuggle up <laughs> 